I was a rock star, you can see, and uh, remain, I remain a rock star. And uh, I wanted a, the European School of Economics to be a rock star and to come out of the sad army of the educational panorama. I wanted that our students could learn how to bring out their own uniqueness and dream. I wanted the school that could uh, eliminate more than add. Wrong ideas, false concepts, second-hand knowledge coming from outside. I wanted the people that could be really revolutionary, subversive. If education is not subversive, revolutionary, it is not education. The school has, has been founded on one simple principle. Visibilia ex invisibilibus. From the invisible, the visible. The world that you see and touch is coming from an invisible world, which is you, yourself. No school, no university tells you that you have to come out with your own dream and uniqueness. They just inject in yourself knowledge coming uh, from uh, centuries, centuries of stupidities. Visibilia ex invisibilibus. The world is as you dream it. You yourself are the creator and dreamer and doer of your own reality. Nobody else from outside can tell you how to live, how to relate with the world outside yourself. Because the world, the external world is just your creature. It is your creation, you yourself. The world out there, the world is as it is because you are as you are. The world is such because you are such. And you have to turn towards yourself and see that all comes from within. All and everything comes from within. I went through many revolutions. Music, politics, economics, educational. Now, through technology. I am really much involved in all those worlds, but never identified. Never identified, because identification is a means to get lost. Then whatever is in the profession that you are going through, or the business that you are going through, remember that identification 
is the evil. You have to do it without identifying with the world outside. Because the external, the world outside, is just a reflection, a projection of what you are. Whatever happens out there, whatever happens out there is just reflecting your own being, your inner being. Then you see vision and reality. This is my discovery, my realization, of course. Vision and reality are one and the same. There is no gap. Inner being and the outer life are one and the same, inner and outer, one and the same thing. The only thing that separates these apparently two worlds is time, the factor time, which is, uh, from my studies and my realization, which is a great thing if you know how to use it. But uh, it is an uh, evil if you, if you will be used by it. Time is just a paint, a coat, that we place on our inner being to see and touch what we do not want to see and touch. then time is very precious if you know how to use it. Otherwise, it is a tyrant. It will, it will enslave you, kill you. You have to use time and understand that time is a device, a very good device. When you turn towards yourself, time disappears. When you get closer and closer to yourself, time disappears. And the world knows about it. Because the, the world knows everything about you, yourself. The world knows everything about you, yourself. We didn't need the internet, Facebook, or etc. The world knows everything about you. you you cannot hide. You imagine you can hide, but you cannot. Then the world is as it is because you are as you are. In the world outside happens whatever is happening within yourself. Then if you pay attention to your inner being, you will know whatever is happening in the next future, or the far future, because you yourself are the creator and dreamer and doer, whatever happens out there. You see, this is my understanding, whatever happens out there, it's uh, paradoxical. Whatever happens out there needs your inner approval and consent to happen. Then if you happen in a war, be sure that very war was within yourself. You can avoid wars, illnesses, disgrace, accidents, Death, if you turn towards yourself and see that, that death is only within yourself, not outside. Outside is only a description. We are all slaves and victims of a description of death. But if you realize that death is only within yourself, we die thousands of times in just one day, thousands of times, unconsciously, we die. If you know how to die lesser and lesser, 
you will see that the world outside yourself will become a paradise. Because you and the world are one and the same thing. Inner and outer are one and the same. There is no gap. Time is a device that tells you why the world is so aggressive, violent, conflictual. But the world is uh, just reading what you are. The world comes after. You come first. Then if you turn toward yourself and see yourself, you will see why the world is as it is. My sons and daughters, I hope you carry within you yourself, you know, and uh, the, the dream that each of you is uh, carrying within. And never forget that you yourself are the creator of the reality that you see and touch outside yourself. The slightest change in your inner being moves mountains in the world of events. The slightest change in your inner being moves mountains in the world of events. If you pay attention, just attention, self-observation, you shouldn't change. If you live a hell within yourself, don't try to change. You will never succeed. Just watch it. Observe it. Self-observation is self-correction. If you pay attention to your inner being, the world will change and the world will be saved. Then the slightest change in your being moves mountains in the world of events. I thank you.